So now we're going to look at the other um, solenoid that we have, solenoid operated, solenoid return, 5.2 valve. Um, we're just going to have two separate push buttons operating these. So all we're doing is we're taking power down into the top of one of the normally open switches and then coming out from um, the bottom of the switch into the solenoid and then getting grounded out. Okay, so a full loop there. And we're going to do that again um, for another switch. So again, we need to get power. Um, and just for the clarity, we're just going to use the next one over. It's still a normally opened switch. Take that into power at the top into our switch and then coming out of our switch is going to go down into our other solenoid and then finally we'll ground that solenoid out and when you see as the circuits get more and more complicated there can be wires everywhere and um, so it's a good idea to test each part as you go on so test one side and um, let's just see if we can see the light that's working and then test the other side See that the light. So each time you do a kind of closed loop, make sure that those parts are working. Because as you move forward, if you try and do too much at one time, um, you'll run into run into errors. So I'm happy enough now the way that is operating. Uh, on the electrical side, now we can turn on the air um, and see how that operates our double acting cylinder. So once this solenoid over here gets activated, the cylinder comes out. The solenoid here, solenoid retracts, and all I'm doing is I'm controlling it through these two separate push buttons. Okay, and it's important to note that that's staying extended. Okay, it's locked in position. Um, the power isn't locked on, but it's it's locked in position there. Okay.